you can't read an article today about residential real estate without an author talking about affordability challenges that today's buyers face. There's no doubt homes are less affordable today than they were over the last two years, but that doesn't mean homes are now unaffordable. There are three measures that are used to establish affordability, home prices, mortgage rates, and wages. So let's take a look at one of these components. Number one, home prices. The most recent Home Price Insight report by CoreLogic shows that home values have increased by 19% from last January to this January. Number two, mortgage rates. While the current global uncertainty makes it difficult to project mortgage rates, what we do know is that the current rates are almost one full percentage point higher than they were last year. According to Freddie Mac, the average monthly rate for last February was 2.81%. This February, it was 3.76. This means that the increase in the mortgage rate also contributes to homes being less affordable than they were last year. Number three, wages. The one big positive component in the affordability question is an increase in American wages. In a recent article by Realty Track, it was pointed out, prices are up, but what about wages? ADP reports that job holder income increased by 5.9% last year, but rose 8% for those who switched employers. In effect, some of the higher cost to buy a home has been offset by more cash income. So when you think about affordability, it's more than just home prices and mortgage rates. When prices rise and rates rise, it does impact affordability, and experts project both of those things will climb in the months ahead. That's why it's less affordable to buy a home than it was over the past two years when the prices and rates were lower than they were today. But wages need to be factored into the affordability as well. So to find out more about affordability in the greater Seattle area, Let's talk about where home prices are locally, what's happening with mortgage rates, and get you in contact with a lender so you can make an informed financial decision. So remember, while less affordable, homes are not unaffordable, which still gives you an opportunity to buy a home today.